Hello and welcome back for my tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can validate the JSON input from the client. We will use uh, a function so you don't need to rewrite your code every time. So let's starting to, to say what is what is what we want. It's We want to validate the JSON uh, data about it. It can be true or it's could be false. If it's true, we need to make a JSON object so we can use it on cross on the functions. Or if it's not true, then return false. All right. So let's say we have an, uh, a JSON object. JSON content is normally none. Oh, sorry, we can put it to empty. And then we need a function like validate JSON input in this case we need to self and then we need to the request and in this case we need to make a error handler try and ex accept so we need to say try self JSON content is equal to JSON loads uh, the request stream read and that's it and we can make a print to the terminal json json from client is validated if it's not validated then we need to say accept uh, value error and then the variable error And if it's failed, we need to say that JSON object should be empty. And then we print it to the terminal. JSON from client is not validated. In this case, we will return false and we will return true. So in this case, if we go back to to the get on get uh, function, we simply can say self validate JSON input and then the request um, validated uh, variable. If we say it's validated is equal to true, then we need uh, we want to expect something is okay and uh, the JSON object is validated. And else we need to change the output. In our output, we always uh, want to say output is equal to a status. It could be, yeah, 200, because when you make a get and you get in return, the header should always be 200 if nothing is wrong. But if the JSON is it's wrong and the servers respond, it's still okay, but we need to information the client about the JSON is wrong. That's why we need an internal status code. We can use later, I will show you. And then we need a message. And we say none, sorry. If it's validated, we simply can say, as we always do, um, the message should be equal to and then we expect the name is there else we want to say JSON input is not validated. And we of course need to change the status. Status is equal to 404. Something is wrong. And I know if you're sitting and thinking, what if the name uh, from the client does not exist, then it will fail. 
that's true. I will show how to handle it a, a little bit. We need to see this kind of working first. So first we go and start the client. And then we make a, a, a post, sorry, a get. And we get an intern error. Ah yes, sorry we don't get the JSON object. JSON content and then it should be working. Yeah, you can see the status 200 and we get the 200 is okay. It's the HTTP header code and then we get the internal code like 200. If we remove this, it should return an error. It's 404 and it's still 200. It's just meaning the input validation is wrong. So everything working as you'd expect. If you remove this line, then it's really crash. And that's true because we still need it. So let's stop in the Gunicorn application and go back. To prevent this issue, we simply can do uh, in this way. If name in our JSON application uh, object is it's true, then we expect everything is okay. Else we can return uh, this one. Let's say the status uh, JSON input need name uh, params and start the application again. And if we send the same, it should be okay. Yeah, JSON input needs the name params. If I go for name and say it's Paris and then it should be okay again. So it's everything is working fine here. This is how we do it on the, on the get and it's working similarly on not similarly exactly the same way in the post put and delete. So this code will be on my GitHub so you can basically download the final uh, code and then you can see my code and you can work with it on your own way and test it and play with it. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, you can follow my channel and like this video. I hope you will share it. And if you have any question, please make a comments below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.